The more things change, the more they stay the same. Week four of the Big Three 2018 season stopped into Detroit on Friday the 13th. The perfect day to welcome a couple of bad boys back into the building. Rick Mahorn's trilogy was looking for its first W against Chauncey Billups' squad, the Killer Threes. Flanked by Steven Jackson and Meta World Peace, who reminded us of the old Ron Artest days playing against Detroit. It wasn't the palace, but there was plenty of malice. After an early exit, Josh Powell tried to pick up the slack with 14 points. Allen Anderson gave them 10 along with Jackson's 11. But nothing can stop Al Harrington and James White who combined for 32 points. Adding a fresh face and fresh legs, Derek Byers came in and closed the show. And he wins it for Trilogy. Trilogy is now one and three. They believe that if they can run the table, five and three will get them into the final four. Three's company was playing like two was a crowd as they relentlessly tried to knock the ball hogs out of Little Caesars Arena. But the ball hogs were down to get dirty with balanced scoring from Deshaun Stevenson and Jermaine Taylor. Even Andre Owens hit a step back that made you want to kiss yourself. But former Detroit Piston, Jason Maxill, had too much home cooking and he was serving dinner in the paint, dominating inside. Delmar Johnson came alive with 14 late game points along with newcomer Dante Jones scoring nine. Andre Emmett had 11, while Baron Davis chilled in the second half, saying three's company, but four's a crowd. Michael Cooper's squad is now three and one, and they're looking ahead at those four and oh monsters. When the captains are away, the co-captains will play. Jermaine O'Neal of Tri-State and Rashard Lewis of Three-Headed Monsters were both missing in action for Game 3, the battle of the undefeateds. No captains, no problem. Boots, a.k.a. Nate Robinson and Amari Stoudemire put on a show with dishes and dunks, leading their team in scoring as usual. But the refs were not impressed. Giving Boots the boot late in the game. Just in time for Gary Payton to unleash a monster named Reggie Evans, ordering him to return to the kingdom with a double-double. And he did. With the wizard up to his old tricks, GP called a timeout with the score 48 to 48. He wanted to give some love to Q. Quintel Woods will do anything to win. Dirty work, no problem. Score the basketball, no problem. Listen to Gary Payton scream, no problem. Go win the damn game, no problem. These aren't the Space Jam monsters, but you might need Michael Jordan to knock them off of a championship run. When two teams are coming off a loss, they will fight and scrap to get a victory. With that bitter taste of defeat in Oakland, Power and the Ghost Ballers were both trying to get that nasty taste out of their mouths. Nothing would come easy for these two teams. Fouls came a dime a dozen, making officials change the batteries in their whistle mid-game. Iceman George Gervin 
begged his team to lay off the refs, while Nancy Lieberman got her team to power through this ugly game. Relying on MVP frontrunner Corey Maggette's high 19.7 rebound and a cat to claw out the victory. As the big three packs up to leave the Motor City and take our talents to South Beach. One thing's for sure, none of the games this week can afford to be lost in paradise. Miami, get your popcorn.